Hey guys, so today I'll be talking about the atmosphere in the context of AP Environmental Science or APES. So obviously that goes deeper than your you know, elementary school science. Um, but as you know from conventional wisdom, the atmosphere is a relatively thin layer of gases that surrounds the Earth. Um, it mainly functions to absorb radiation from the sun, um, and that makes Earth habitable. You know, um, planets that don't have an atmosphere, including, you know, all of the other, or um, Mars and Venus and um, Mercury in the solar system, they can't sustain life because the radiation from the sun is too great for life to actually exist. So the atmosphere absorbs radiation. It also moderates the climate and the weather um, by changing the amount of heat that comes through. You can change the the temperature, obviously, but also um, <clears throat> the air pressure from the um, from the gases that are pushing down on the Earth change the different temperatures that or the different um, climates that you get due to that. And I'll explain that a little bit later. But one of the other functions that the atmosphere does is to transport and recycle nutrients. A lot of the nutrient cycles have an atmospheric component to them. For example, um, water is evaporated into clouds and then you know, moved through wind and comes back down as rain somewhere else. Um, likewise, nitrogen goes into the air. Um, the vast majority of the atmosphere is made of nitrogen. And of course, oxygen goes around in the atmosphere and a bunch of other smaller nutrients do too. Anyways, um, there are four layers of the atmosphere. If we have Earth here, Earth, the lowest layer of the atmosphere is called the troposphere. And then we have the stratosphere. And then the mesosphere. And then the highest is the thermosphere. And basically the difference is just in altitude. And you have the ever famous ozone and that only occurs in the stratosphere and the troposphere. Um, other than that, the pressure in the four um, layers of the atmosphere decreases with altitude, and that's just because the air is, you know, less air is press pressing down when you go higher in the atmosphere. Um, you know, because the troposphere has the stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere all pressing down on it, while the stratosphere only has the mesosphere and the thermosphere pressing down on it. And um, <clears throat> the pressure influences your weather. If you have high pressure, then generally you're going to get a nice and sunny day um, where you know, you're not going to have any rain or clouds or anything. Um, and that's going to be the exact opposite when you have low pressure. Um, low pressure is going to bring in the rain and the storms and everything, and obviously you have to have a balance of those two to have a good climate. <laughs>